So family safety tip, parental guide that we use in our house. This is just a real quick, um, fast you know, encouragement. One of the things we tell our kids is they do not look at other people's devices. So how many times have you heard from a child or you've been and experienced it where you've looked over at someone else's device and something really inappropriate was on it and you shouldn't have seen it? Videos, GIFs, you know, pictures, whatever, right? So we tell our kids all the time, do not look at other people's devices. When they say, look at this post or look at this video, say, no, I'm not allowed to do that. I don't look at other people's devices. Because very early on with our kids, we had things come back to, to us about them seeing their inappropriate stuff. And so our oldest, you know, call eyes with stuff. And now our middle and our youngest are protected. So guys, just do that. It's going to keep you from so much pain. A policy in your family. If you're locking your family down and you're locking all their stuff down and you're not letting them have access to screen all week long or through the night and you're protecting their little hearts with filters and stuff, then you need to make sure that you have an agreement with your kids that they don't look at other people's devices unless they ask you first. And that's going to keep them safe. So even at school, when devices come out, my kids tell their friends, I can't look at that unless I talk to my parents first. And they go, oh, okay. And it has been worth it, worth it. Because we found out later that even other families have been thankful we've done that because their kids had the wrong stuff on their devices. So also let your kids know, you're gonna take that device and look at it. You're gonna be looking through their histories. You're paying attention to what they're doing. You're looking over their shoulder. You're gonna look on that computer. You're gonna pull their browsing history up. Let them know you're watching. You know what I'm saying? Also let them know no matter what they do, you can't fully get rid of all the browsing history. You can't fully get rid of all the things that those devices have shown. That accountability is actually gonna make them feel safe. It's not threatening at all. It lets them know that they don't even need to think about the wrong things. And they don't even need to look at someone else's device because they know their family's got their back and they have boundaries and they have rules. And guys, my teenager thanks me for it. I'm not joking says all the time, thanks so much for caring so much about me and keeping me safe. Guys, do this up front. You will not be sad that you do as much as you can, as long as you can, to parent and protect them well. So have that rule that they don't look at other people's devices unless you say they can. Otherwise, you can't know what everyone else's parenting techniques are going to do to your kids, and it rubs off. One last thing about our household we got it set up where we focus on life together and school and activities and, and family all through the week so that devices aren't even turned on in our house. This has been since the beginning. There's no screen time. TVs, phones, tablets, whatever. There's no screen time in our house during the week until Friday. At Friday night, they can turn the screen on. And then they've got it all the way through Saturday and Sunday, but even then it's not through the night. It's turned off when it's bedtime. You know, we've got that control over it. Then during the summer, we add in Thursday. So they get Thursday all day, Friday all day, Saturday and Sunday, but Friday's only after school's done at the end of the day. And so we have, you know, kind of like a, a guideline. And then if we watch TV, which is not every day, or we watch a movie together, it's a real treat for the family because they get extra screen time on a Wednesday out of nowhere or a Monday. Woo, it's a big deal. So you see, it changes things. It's gonna put you in control of your family driver's seat. It's gonna give you more time with your family. You know, it's gonna encourage you to set those devices down at the dinner table and have conversations. It's so important to have these kinds of parental rules in place. Last thing, this is just a little bit of a rant, but it's keeping your family safe. It's got, it's, you're shepherding their hearts in this too. You're protecting their eyes and their hearts so that they can get old enough to make right decisions when they get there. But this is the thing. At the end of the day, our family is really connected. Right now in America, did you know the average family, the average kid only gets about 12 minutes of honest conversation from a parent a week? from each parent a week, 12 minutes is the average. Now your household may be a lot more because you're watching this, but think about the large amount of households out there right now where kids are only talking to their family one-on-one -on -one and having engaged conversation at tops in broken pieces, 12 minutes in a whole week. What time do we get back with our family when we turn those devices off 
at the dinner table. We've actually got a box that you have to put your device in when you sit down at the, at the supper table for me and my wife. So we're not looking at that device through dinner. We're talking to each other, having conversation. We're asking how your day went, what's going on, and having relationship. Oftentimes leading to a game time or something else, a story. My kids are always like, tell me a story, tell me a story. Guys, read to me. We love reading. I just want to encourage you. There's a better way. You do you. You may not be as strict as us. You may not have as many rules as us. That's fine. But we're just telling you what's worked for us. You come up with what, what works for you. At the very least, I'll tell you one of the greatest boundaries we put in place. Don't look at anyone else's device anywhere unless you've asked us first. And that's been a big help for our kids and the people they walk with. All right, you guys, thanks for tuning in. Nerd Cheek, more techie advice after this. I've got a lot more. Don't forget, for any of these things I'm sharing, I got tutorials on how to set things up and do it right here in this channel. Be sure to subscribe, give us some love here, and tell us if there's other topics you want us to cover. Boom.